When all these incidents happen in a week where we're getting visits from two former presidents and the current president, Joe Biden, 12 News journalist Chase Golightly joining us now looking ahead to those events. And I'm sure, Chase, some very tight security going forward. Troy, that's right. You can expect security details to use every tool available to them to keep politicians and the people attending these events safe. And experts tell me security will be taken to a level never seen before. Political threats happen, but security experts that respond to these situations believe this year is the worst it's ever been. This is the most intense I've ever seen it. On Tuesday, police were called to Kerry Lake's U.S. Senate campaign office after someone found an unknown substance in an envelope that was ultimately deemed not hazardous. The same goes in Ahwatukee, another massive police presence when officers said bags of suspicious white powder were placed on handmade political signs. Tempe police said they arrested the person responsible, who they believe is also behind a string of shootings at this Democratic National Committee office. All these attacks and threats leading to heightened security for political candidates. I think you can anticipate a much larger footprint as far as security is related. Uh, and rightfully so. Sean Kinsey is the founder and CEO of Kinsaker Security Group. Kinsey also works security details for Arizona Governors Doug Ducey and Jan Brewer. He says with these threats, you can expect higher levels of security when it comes to events and visits. They want to keep their, their dignitaries safe, but definite mission that they want to accomplish is to keep the attendees safe also. Having to change up methods to accomplish that. Definitely try to avoid indignitary protection is, is complacency. That also means local law enforcement agencies will be working around the clock. They're all hands on deck. You're going to see an increased level that we haven't seen before. Jeff Hines is a retired commander with Phoenix Police. He says that heightened security really started after the first assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump in July. Since then, security has seriously ramped up for everyone. There's going to be facial recognition going on, and you have your drones up, you have your helicopters, you have your planes up, you have visibility over everything. And if you plan on attending one of the many political events here in the Valley. The public is going to be inconvenienced. You're going to be searched. You're going to have your purses checked. You're going to have your backpacks checked. You're going to not be able to bring things in. Think about going to a sporting game. And today, Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell spoke with us about these threats and attacks, saying her office will prosecute those responsible to the fullest extent of the law. Also tomorrow, Tempe police will be holding a press conference regarding their most recent arrest.